Shall we talk about some new Korean skincare and beauty products? Let's do it! Hello my loves! Welcome back to my channel. It has been a very 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 long time since we did a Korean beauty haul and that's what we're gonna do today. There's something in my throat and in case you like my makeup, you know the tutorial is on. First up, we have a tiny but very powerful package from this brand called Wish Trend. They have the products called Wish Trend and also Claire's. And they send me the Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Serum. Now, if you want me to make a separate video on Vitamin C Serum, please let me know. I have spoken about Vitamin C in so many of my previous videos. But if you want just a dedicated Vitamin C video, let me know in the comments below and i was also sent the moisturizing skin toner now this particular product made me fall in love with toners and made me read and educate myself about toners because this is and also the mandelic acid 5% skin prep water of late i've been falling in love with products which is named after the key ingredient instead of like a glow tonic or brightening serum or an anti-aging serum like mandelic acid vitamin c these things are written on the skincare product and if you educate yourself about a couple of key ingredients you can buy exactly what you need for your skin concern and just apply it and have like the best skincare routines and another product i got from claire's is this midnight blue youth activating drop now this is a very watery can i even call it a serum i don't know because it's so watery and it's got this beautiful midnight blue color like it mentions it's an anti-aging youth activating serum finally from claire's i've also got the freshly juiced vitamin e mask if you want me to i will definitely speak more about them in my upcoming videos wish trend is a website and they ship internationally so if you are in india or us or uk or the middle east you can just place your orders through wishtrend.com it's that simple and we have this company called soul cool soul cool is based in kuwait and they bring korean beauty to the middle east and i think they actually ship it worldwide i'm not sure this is co-founded by one of my favorite influencers rc i have an entire video about how I fangirled her so bad it was cringy they send me a beautiful package their aesthetics it's everything we've got like unicorn paper and stickers that come with the package you know and it says from Korea to Kuwait to you first of all we have the rep gentle face cleansing pad they are like individual soaked cotton pads with makeup remover and they are so flimsy i honestly did not expect much and it also said gentle makeup removing pad and you know when i apply makeup it's for a tutorial and when i'm applying makeup for a tutorial i am caking it on so i didn't think it would do much but guys don't be fooled by the word gentle it's gentle on the skin but it's powerful one small slinky little makeup pad removes everything on your face and that is so so impressive anyways next up i've got this bubble face cleanser from the brand called noni you can actually put a little bit of face wash in here and then do that and whip it up into like a whipped cream consistency i mean korean skincare it's like the cutest like nobody in the world can beat korean skincare when it comes to the cuteness factor you just want to buy it just because it's so cute and case in point we've got this brand called peripera i think and they have this suitcase collection of makeup and <laughs> it is literally a tiny little suitcase with wheels and so there is a tint and two lipsticks i like to use these lipsticks also as my blush actually and a concealer and a multitasking product but the concealer is white i mean it matches my t-shirt where am i supposed to put that so <laughs> but this probably i can use <laughs> somewhere i've already used this particular product in one of my instagram tutorials and i really really love it guys if you miss out on my instagram tutorials please please uh, follow me on instagram because i'm putting in a little bit more effort to my instagram videos because you guys watch me more over there doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense but it seems like you guys watch my videos more on instagram so i'm slowly shifting focus to instagram <sighs> by the way that little suitcase comes with stickers so you can actually customize your suitcase and put <sighs> too cute and then i've got a set of three sheet masks 
from the brand called Kin Girls, a multi-fruit face mask. And I used one of it, it looks like this, and it's really good. And it comes with two others. There are so many other types of face masks, as you can see. This is the fruit one, which I'm in love with because that would be so extra nourishing. I think that's everything that I got from Seoul Cool. Now I've got a big old package from stylekorean.com and you know I've been making videos, uh, haul videos from stylekorean.com for years now and through the years of buying and trying and testing, I've learned a lot about Korean skincare as well, about what is necessary, what is unnecessary. A lot of trends, skincare trends, like the 10 step skincare trend is just a hype is what I want to say because actual real Korean girls don't really do a 10 step routine or anything. So if you want me to do more detailed videos on how to get actual inner glowing Korean skin, let me know because of course brands are going to tell you apply 10 steps and 7 skin method. Of course the brands are going to ask you to do all that because they want you to use more of their products. You know what I'm saying? So um, lately I've been doing a very minimal Korean skincare and my skin has not looked better in my life guys. In my life. So let me know if you want me to make a video all right first up i've got um a nourishing face mask it's a pack of 10 i believe from jumiso and i used one of this and they come with so much excess serum that i actually store it in a little container and i actually use the serum as my face serum i've also got the april skin turn up temporary color in the shade pink that's what i've got on my hair today but if you want to know if this is actually good or not because it's supposed to also be a treatment for your hair i've got a full length unedited raw review on my ig stories i'm trying guys i'm trying there are so many social media apps and tools coming out and i'm just confused about where to put all of my focus and reviews and energy into hair protein treatment mask from eliza Vicka. remember uh, one or two years ago the bubble mask was so popular it was by this brand and my hair has been a little damaged because of the uh, bleach that is there on the tips of it so I wanted some hair masks so I have a couple of hair masks in this haul this is another one from Etude House this is a silk scarf hair treatment I've not tried any of the hair masks so I can't tell you anything about it but on my Instagram stories I will definitely put out all my quick instant reviews like this is good this is bad moving right along big bunch of sheet masks and the reason i got this is because i wanted to give you guys a review of a lot of sheet masks that is easily available to you worldwide and some of the brands are innisfree the face shop so i've got a bunch of face masks from these popular korean brands and i've got a face mask from the skin food this is the strawberry black sugar wash off face mask skin food has a bunch of these tub face masks and the first one i tried was the black sugar one i loved it then i tried the rice one i loved it and now i'm just giving the strawberry one a try they've got the pineapple and the apple and i'm so confused about what is for what so i'm going through it one by one to see what it's all about you know you know in my empties video which will also go on my igtv which i haven't filmed yet which i will i will speak about what the black sugar mask is for and what the rice mask is for because i've completely used up both of it it's literally a milk carton guys this is the white in milk capsule eye cream from the brand called g9 and i've got really really bad under eye circles these days guys i think it's all the stress and anxiety finally getting to my skin so i'm looking for an eye cream that will really really brighten hopefully my under eyes the coffee oil that i created a year ago the diy one it really works to brighten your under eye but i keep my coffee oil in my fridge so when i wake up in the morning i can't go all the way to the kitchen to my fridge and take a drop of it and apply it under my eyes and then come back for the rest of my morning routine so i end up not really using that a lot but that's very effective if I could use it. From the company Vanilla and Co, I've got the Hello Sunny SPF 50 PA++++. And the reason I got it is because it literally looks like a stick of deodorant and I thought that would be amazing. Now, if you wanna buy a sunscreen, guys, buy from a Korean brand because they are serious about their sun protection. Anti-aging or preventing skin cancer or even cancer did i just say cancer <laughs> cancer or even if you want to prevent sun tanning they've got you covered in all of these three respects because they want to prevent all of that <laughs> and they also keep your face matte and you know all, all they literally check all the boxes that you need for sunscreen milky don't give a white cast it's not thick and sticky 
Innisfree loose powder tub comes with a little powder puff and everything and I got this because I want to make a full face of just Korean makeup on my dark skin you know I've been doing this full face of one country's makeup so far I've got Britain and Turkey if you'd like to see that and if you haven't seen that yet please click right here I'll also do a bunch of Indian and Arab and let me know what other countries you want me to take like their traditional regional makeup products and try it out same goes for this Laneige cushion eyebrow product black pomegranate cream from skin food now the tub is in my vanity it's a really luxurious heavy tub of beautiful smelling moisturizer but i think i think it's giving me pimples now there are two new products that i started using on my face so i don't know if it is this or the other one the other one was this is the vlcc astringent for oily skin so i don't know which one is giving me the pimple i'm still testing it out it's hydrogel eye patch bulgarian rose water from hamish hamish is one of my favorite korean brands and i also wanted like i said under eye treatment so i've not used a single one of it yet so i don't know and um, i've got a nice little cute hair tie from innisfree just to keep my hair away from my face when i do face masks and stuff i've got this really cute shake and short face mask from dr jart to give you luminous skin can you see what it looks like <laughs> it's just so good it looks like a milkshake tub and it's supposed to be a rubber mask anyways let's see about that we've got another hair mask from nature republic this is the argan oil deep conditioning hair mask varnish velvet lip tint from hamish liquid eyes mirrorholic from etude house now this guys so you know the steel and magnificent metals the liquid eyeshadow and uh, pixie came up with the fairy lights which is so similar now so many brands have similar products nyx wet and wild intensely sparkly eyeshadow concept nothing when i say nothing i mean nothing compares to the shine that this guy gives this is literally like actually having diamonds or jewels on your eyes so it comes in the same kind of you know doe foot applicator now now wait for this okay imagine this on your eyes like right now i have the pixie on my eyes so you can compare this with the pixie on my eyes now, now the pixie one don't get me wrong is a really beautiful product for the fraction of the price of the stila one but this <laughs> something else it is actually really blinding the day i got this i put it on my hand <sighs> guys i can't stop looking at it even now i can't like once i put my eyes on it i can't stop looking at it the camera is just not giving it justice it's something else in real i don't know how to i don't know how to show you what it actually looks like and finally i've got a couple of things from the brand called pure leaf now if i'm not wrong i think pure leaf is an american brand but they carry korean products so i've got the blue lotus plus seaweed treatment sheet mask it's amazing i've also got a bb cream in the shade medium deep and this actually suits my complexion and you know how excited i get when a foundation or a concealer or a bb cream or a powder matches my skin because it's not it's not a common thing we don't we don't usually have products that actually suit our skin you know finally we've got a blue lotus 4 in 1 cleansing milk this i've never tried i shall let you know so anyways those are all the new things that i have from the korean beauty world let me know what you'd like to see me review first and what are you curious about all of the style korean products guys the direct links to get them will be listed right down below and anything else i spoke about they will all be right down in the description box below Whew, that was a long video I can't believe I got through it though. Now I'm like, hmm. I really, really hope you will give this video a thumbs up. Like actually click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. I love you so much. And you can watch my older videos right down below just in case you missed them or if you want to re-watch them. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I shall see you very, very soon on Instagram. Mwah!